check, check, and recheck. Do your due diligence to not be surprised. You can kind of eliminate surprise by crossing T's and dotting I's. And you got to do that like repeatedly. Weather changes, swift and changeable. Like it don't take much or nothing for that to change. And as you travel through different states, you definitely want to be aware of what you're going to run into. Because that eliminates surprises. Now, I'm up early trying to um, map out how I'm going to get myself a fresh 70 hour clock. Don't per se need it. I'm up, up in, I'm probably like 58 hours right now. She has about 57 or so. So some would probably think it's it's pretty irrelevant to even um, worry about that. That's a lot of time, a lot of hours to still maneuver, and that's very true. But also, I'm probably less than four hours from having a fresh 70. So to me, that could be the difference of a whole nother drive shift five days from now, so to speak. It's very rare that we stop and do 34s. A lot of ours is in motion by us being a team. But that could, like I said, that could be the difference of a possible full drive shift or even another load for that matter. You know, we can do a lot with a 10 hour, 11 hour clock. Some people may think it wouldn't make much sense. It's only one drive shift, which is true. But hauling what we haul, haul the way we haul, and uh, the 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 money involved in a 300, 400, 500 mile load can be more than most make in a week. So if it happens that way, I want to be able to be available to get it. So just about being prepared, putting myself in the best position to maximize. That's kind of what we do. That's what we build our whole trucking experience on, is not dealing with surprises, trying our best not to deal with, you know, things that we, we can't control. Oh, I should say that we can control. You know, what you can't, you can't. But if just sitting down and doing the homework means being aware and anticipating certain things to happen versus being taken off guard, to me, it's all worth it. Because no one wants to be taken off guard. No man or no adult for that matter wants surprises. Most of us don't even want a surprise birthday party. You know what I'm saying? So the element of just being blindsided by something is never good. Unless it's something good. So I've just been trying to navigate in math. I thought she was going to be asleep, but I should have known by the time I started talking and fiddling with stuff and Qualcomm checking and that it would disturb her. Because we still on part of East Coast time anyway. So on the East right now, it's 9.30. So I guess physically we'd be up regardless. But we're working our way back East for a little quick second uh we got a load coming out of colorado i mean coming out of california going to colorado and we have a possible anticipation of another load that may send us slightly back west into utah to get it so i've been on the weather you know three and four days from now seeing how that will go because a lot of that will even determine if i take the load but again i just want to be aware of what the weather's going to be so when it does come across my across the Qualcomm, it's nothing that I gotta linger and try to figure out if I wanna do, just because I've already done the due diligence to figure out if it does come, am I gonna do it or not? But that goes back to eliminating the element of surprise. So just little stuff like that, man. You know, try my best to uh, navigate and, and captain the ship as best as possible, you know. She has her things that she deal with, I have mine. So it's time that I'm up early a.m. figuring this stuff out, 
putting putting uh my mind on stuff that like I said that we can control and she's the one that maintains the stuff that we can't control meaning she's our prayer warrior for us she's the one that spends the time doing that and 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 I guess trying to her best to affect uh the unseen and keeping a lot of those surprises that we can't control at bay. So that's just the team and the union and the bond that we have that we can kind of work off of one another without even saying it. There's nothing that needs to be really said. She knows that I'm gonna um, do any and everything that I can do in the physical to make sure that everything runs as smooth as possible and we can get to it the way we need to get to it. She entrusts me with that, you know, and so far it's not about being perfect because you'll never reach that. But for the most part, I've been pretty consistent with making sure that um, we're in the best positions that we can be in to maximize and, and, and create the best life for ourselves we can from a financial standpoint and just overall safety or general safety. And she handled her in by, you know, all the um, little things that go on in business. You know, that's kind of her thing. She enjoys that. But other than that, or in addition to that, she's the one that kind of keeps the truck grounded, keeps things flowing in a way where the energy stays um, stays positive and we can continue to move forward but yeah man eliminate surprise as much as you can by uh, crossing those T's and dotting those I's it's a lot of unknowns a lot of uncertainty and that's really people's main hiccup when it comes to trucking is not being aware of certain things and not being in, 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 in prepared or just not being prepared in general, whether it's financial or whatever the case may be, that when things out of your uh, control happen, some people crumble um, in regards to it. And I don't want that to be us. I'm sure you don't want that to be you. So whatever it takes, whether it's basic savings, whether, uh, you know, just upkeep of your equipment, whether it's your equipment or not, because you only want surprises on the road when you're driving somebody else's truck, because you're still the one that's going to be left uh, dangling, so to speak. You're still going to be the one that's going to be on the uh, ground level dealing with whatever the issue is, waiting for someone else to save you in a way, waiting for a company to call this person or that person to come rescue you. When all you had to do was um, do as much pre uh, stuff as you could to maintain your vehicle if you know your mileage is certain things or you know certain things about your truck you should be already aware of what can happen before it happens and try to be you know as uh, prepared as possible because that's really what it's all about eliminating the element of surprise don't wait to it's about to happen to want to make change. Try to be as diligent as you can and forward thinking as you can. And like I said, that's really what Married to the Miles is all about. That's what we've always been about. Trying to do the right things the right way. Not being perfect about it. But putting out that type of effort can go a long way. So we got some running to do today, and we're going to get it done. Um, so hopefully y'all do the same. Let's get to it, man. It's 2024. No time for games. Eliminate surprise. Cross those T's and dot those I's. It's Married to the Miles, man. It's your boy Mo 804. She back there. And your girl Connie. <laughs> <laughs> Should be sleep, but all right. 
But yeah, it is what it is, man. We gone. Peace.